There's nothing like working with heavy duty quality equipment. In this video, we'll get an introduction to the Redding T7 turret press, which is definitely a high quality piece of equipment. This press features a cast iron construction, which means this press is very solid and strong. The press has a, a generous four and three quarter inch opening uh, between the top of the ram and, and the bottom of the turret head. Another unique feature about the T7 turret press is this rear support back here. So when, when the uh, front of the turret head has an upward force, that upward force applies a, a downward force on the back of the press. This, this downward force on the back of the press is counteracted by the support. And what this results in is the convenience of a turret for rapid changing between dies and, and operations and the, st the solidarity and repeatability of measurements that you get typically uh, from a single stage press. This press also features a massive one inch ram which is a really nice feature um, for a, a single stage or a turret press. It's got a, uh, a very strong handle assemb assembly, compound linkage for um, applying the kind of forces that you need easily for forming cases or other heavy duty types of applications. Next let's take a uh, quick look at the die installation process. So I've got a couple of Redding 30-06 dies and I'm just going to take the dies which have already had their lock rings secured and I'm going to screw those in to the turret head. But gently finger tighten. Now I'm going to take the seating die and do the same thing. Now, after adjusting these dies, we would be ready for um, for loading with 30 out six, and we could easily switch between the decapping and sizing die and the seating die. The final step is to take our shell holder and install it by just pushing it into the ram. It's spring loaded so we don't have to worry about any fasteners. Now I've installed a second set of rifle dies so now I've got 30 out 6 on one side and I've got uh, 223 on the other side. So while I'm loading 30 out 6 I can just index uh, with the turret head in this position and then if I want to start loading 223 I just swap the shell holders and then pop this guy around and now I can index between the two uh, 223 dies, one for decapping and uh, sizing and the other one for bullet seating. So with this press we can have a total of seven dies set up per head. You can buy multiple replacement heads and quick change those as well so that you can leave your dies set up and ready to go. The Redding T7 turret press is one nice piece of equipment. Stay tuned because on UltimateReloader.com we're going to take an extended look at the different ways that this press can be used.